Let's play Siphon Filter 2. Welcome back, everyone. I think she's stable now. I thought your grandmother was kidding when she insisted on the medicine bag. Yeah, she's sweet. But you can thank Lawrence's medical knowledge for her reduced fever, not some superstitious bag of herbs. How long can we keep the virus in check? Not sure. I have no idea why, but her red blood cells are multiplying at an incredible rate. The virus is in production mode, creating plasma exponentially. Maybe. Like I said, I'm a pathologist, not a hematologist. You ready to make the call? The trace proof relays are all ready to go. Put them through. Logan, this is Lyle Stevens. I've been expecting you. Stevens? Doesn't sound familiar, but then I never could tell one pencil neck admin from another. We want you and Leon to come in. We have much to discuss. I don't think so, Stevens. I'd already decided to quit when my old boss tried to kill me. Having my transport plane shot out of the sky pretty much sealed the if deal. If you bring her in now, we can still save her life. You don't have much choice. Really? It seems that Marcuson was pretty reckless with agency security. Fagan had access to all of the agency's identity files and copied them for insurance. I now have all of Fagan's data disks and their encryption codes. Look, Logan, I don't know you, but I know that you are a loyal agent who wants to do the right thing for your country. You're not going to do anything that will jeopardize national security. Wrong, Stevens. What I am is a tired, angry fugitive whose partner is dying. Don't try me. What do you want? An even trade. Leon's vaccine for the disks. Accepted. We will meet at the... No. This is on my terms or no deal. I'll meet you at the facility on the Lower East Side. I'm not familiar with the facility. You know, the place you're sitting in right now. I know where the agency labs are. I'll take delivery of the vaccine myself and hand it to a courier who will take it to Leon. Once Leon is cured, I'll take you to the disc's location. How can I trust you? You'll be holding me for insurance. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. I can't wait to meet you. I'll bet. No trick, Stevens. If anything happens to me, if the vaccine doesn't work, if Leon dies, I'll shut this agency down. We'll work this out. No one wants. Yeah, this. right. Out. Sorry, sir. Wasn't able to complete the trace. Get someone from Archives up here. Logan's working with someone besides Leon Singh. I want to pull the records for agents who've worked with Logan in the last ten years. I mean everyone. Yes, sir. You don't trust him, do you? Obviously not, but it's the only way I can get into the labs. They have no intention of curing Leon. What are you going to do? They'll search me electronically. I need a weapon that will get by their security. I've got what you need. Now, Gabe, don't laugh. Give him a chance to show you what he's got. You're kidding. A hollow tooth? Just a thing. Filled with a gas that's benign until you mix it with CO2. Breathe deep, hold your breath, bite it, and exhale. Anything that breathes it is dead. Thanks. I'll contact you when I get to New York. No way! You're not leaving me behind on this one. I can't ask you to do it. Leon is my friend. I quit the agency because I knew what they were. I should have warned her. Warned you. And didn't. I'm going with you. Okay. You sure Leon will be all right? There is nothing more we can do for her until we have the vaccine. Time is running out, I'm afraid. You two have been through a lot together. I can tell you feel something for her. Maybe. Don't know how long this will take. Be ready for anything. You've got the camera here. Now they'll take everything when you're searched. But once you're free, you'll need to retrieve it or you won't be able to get past their security. Got it. Be ready for the data dump. Once I find the central computer room, I'll be feeding you information fast. Already set up to go. Logan. Stevens. This is Dr. Weisinger, our chief medical officer and biologist. She will be preparing the vaccine. You'll never see the vaccine, but let me show you how to give an injection. First, you immobilize the arm and You'll then You'll never inject. find her, Stevens. You'll never. Take him to the security room OR. Let me know when he's ready. Dr. Heng Su is here for Shi Hao's shipment. I don't know how long I can stall him. We'll have her soon. Even if we got the plasma today, there would probably not be enough time to- I'll be in the data lab. Let me know when you are finished. Yeah, all right. 
Stall Hang Su. I'll get the information we need from Logan. Hmm, looks like that lab coat might just fit me. I think that was one of the most longest cutscenes in this game so far. They're running for about three or four minutes. Teresa, I'm clear. I'm heading to security to get my gear, then I'll find the data archives. I've grabbed a next lab coat and badge. It should help me get where I need to go. Roger that. I'll try to monitor your location. Be careful. But that's the thing with this game. It has a memorable storyline, unforgettable characters, fun gameplay, a great soundtrack. I think it's one underrated series in my opinion. You keep the section secure while I find a body bag for Logan's corpse. Yes, sir. That's funny, you would expect the uh, scientist to take orders from the guard, not the other way around. Now the one thing that I've always hated about this mission is that the guards tend to walk really slow, and you kinda have to keep your distance and walk the same speed as them. Even though Gabe can walk twice as fast as the AI. Because if you get too close to the guards or the scientists, then one of them will either see right through your disguise, or the other will just sound the alarm. So it gets quite annoying. Now there's a guard walking right there, let me just go into these boxes, don't mind me, I do this all the time. Ask the other scientists. I think this is the only mission throughout the series where you can wear a disguise. The other being Siphon Filter 1 in that mission, Farcom Expo Center, where you wore a tuxedo. In Siphon Filter The Omega Strain, the sequel to Siphon Filter 3, you can wear a whole bunch of disguises if you want to, but at the same time it was kinda hard to do. Because in Omega Strain, when you would wear a disguise and walk past a couple of guards, one of them will try to talk to you as if you're one of them, and when they get too close, they'll notice you're an imposter and open fire on you. That's what made the disguise system in that game kinda difficult. The cameras are pretty much self-explanatory. If you get spotted by them, it's a mission fail. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Don't know how I got past him. I'm patching you into the computer labs from here. I'm sure this system doesn't have access to sensitive files, but maybe we can find out where the main data storage is. Let me check. Uh, no. It's a low access system. You need to get into the level 5 security area. The only person with clearance is a guy named Gershon. His office is in section A. That section is sealed off. Let me study these schematics. There must be another way in. Right. Let me know when you find something. Out. I'm surprised no guards walked in this room during that whole time. That's kind of strange. Gotta watch out for this guard. And I hate these doors because you can walk right through them and then they'll spot you. Alright, he's walking to his right. Let's go this way. Now, if we run this way, there's a knife that we can pick up. It's conveniently placed for Gabe. Now we can go Michael Myers on some people. But you can only clip an acceptable amount of guards. You can't kill every single one of them. That would be kind of tedious. Decontamination sequence in progress. Decontamination sequence completed. Now this guard right here carries a K3G4 and it's the only K3G4 you're going to find throughout this entire game. No other missions carry this weapon for some reason. It's the only level where you'll get it. Hey man, I'm sick. I need some help here. Shut up. Soon it'll all be over. You won't have to worry about a thing. Look who it is. If you guys remember from the first level, it's Ramirez from the mountains. We ourselves can't save Ramirez. We're gonna have to get somebody oh else to do god. that. Oh my god, you're Logan! Oh my god, you're dead. No witnesses allowed. That's the elevator control. 
I think that little cutscene was kind of unnecessary. Please, don't hurt me! I just work here! I'm not responsible, I don't make policy! I do. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines in this game. I do. Gabe, I think I've found a way to Gershon. There's a network of heating ducts that links the two sections. You might be able to use them. Great. More ducts. I feel a whole lot better now that I have my gear back, but that doesn't give us a free pass to go around shooting everyone because we're still under orders not to sound the alarms. Oh wait, we can't knife him. There's another guard downstairs, so we'll just headshot him. Can I headshot him this way? From here? Nice. Ramirez, you made it off the mountain. Anyone else? Only chance in me. Chance? Where is he? I don't know. They're holding him somewhere else. Okay, you hold tight here. I can't get you out yet. When I find Chance, I'll send him back for you. Yes, sir. I'm surprised he survived this long. Why don't we just shoot the vent and he can escape? We can give him a weapon. He should be able to manage himself. The thing that kind of puzzled me is that why didn't they keep Chance and Ramirez in the same cell? It's kind of odd. And we can't go into the store yet. Gabe, you'll need the network administrator's access card for this area. Now we have to scramble these cameras, but there's only two of them that we need to scramble. We don't have to scramble every single one of them. Um, I don't remember if we go down there yet. Oh yeah, we actually do, okay. See, this is a pretty big place and it's easy to get lost if you don't know where you're going. I found the synthesis lab. Leon's vaccine. I wish it were that easy, Gabe. The lab is sealed, so you gotta find another way in. So close, but yet so far. I don't see why we can't just go inside and grab the vaccine. We are wearing a lab coat. I mean, if any of the scientists ask questions, then we'll just clip every one of them. Simple as that. Okay, I think there's a guard that's gonna be walking across this place, but I don't know where. Don't know if I should shoot him. Maybe I should, just in case. Go. Spawn around this corner. Another camera. And if you shoot that vent, Teresa will get kind of pissy and say, Don't even think about leaving without the vaccine. She's not as pissy as Leon, though. Because Leon can get quite annoying. Though she doesn't contact you as much as she did in the first game. That's the vent. And we picked up another K3G4. Like I said, that weapon is very limited. Sad thing is, is that we don't get to use it in this level and the next level. Because the next level is fast paced and all the guards have full body armor that not even bullets can penetrate through it. Who are you? Don't touch the phone, Gershon, or I'll break your arm. Who are you? What are you doing here? Heating duct repair man. I need to get to the central data room and you're gonna be my escort. Set off any alerts and I'll kill you. Let's go. <laughs> Gabe is fairly persuasive. But yeah, this guy's gonna take us to the uh, data uplink where we can do the data dump. And if you're attempting to shoot him, actually wait. Let me just take care of this one guy around this corner. There we go. If you don't kill that guy quickly, he'll sound the alarm. But as I was saying before, if you're tempted to shoot this guy, be warned. He'll die instantly, even if you shoot him in the foot, leg, arm. Because the first time I played this part as a kid, I said to myself, let me shoot him in the foot, maybe he'll walk a lot more faster, or even run, but no, he just dies. 
I mean, I would show you, but I don't want to start back at the checkpoint, and the scientist that we killed before might sign the alarm. You'll never get out of here alive, Logan. Give yourself up now and spare us all the headaches. Shut up and do what I say. Data console's over there. Help yourself. Right. On your knees, face the wall. And at this point, he's useless. I just clip him. Now, if you didn't kill that guard up there by the window, then he'll uh, sound the alarm. So it's very important that you kill that guy. Teresa, I'm downloading the agency's security files. What have you got? The chief physician is a woman named Elsa Weisinger. You find her, you'll have the vaccine. Okay, keep downloading data as long as you can. I'll keep the hey, file- Hey, you! What are you doing over there? Stop! Damn it! And I hate this part because these guys can go for headshots easily, so you have to take cover fast. That guy in the top left who keeps shooting me will never stop, and when I was a kid and did this part, I thought the mainframe would explode, so I ran someplace else, but then I found out it doesn't explode, and I had no more cover, so they just killed me on the spot. They fooled me good. I was pissed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gabe, you're too close to the people. Wow, this guy. Nowhere is safe. Oh my god, leave me alone. I could kill you now. Kinda. I don't think I can. I like his weapon though. He has an HK5. I haven't been using that for a while. Teresa, is the whole place on alert now? No, I managed to localize the security system and shut it down around the archive. It's temporary though. Leon's better at this hacker stuff than I am. Sooner or later, their backup system will see something's wrong. You better hurry. I'm on my way to the medical labs now. He's off the hook now then. Consider yourself lucky, Gabe. But this doesn't mean we can just go around shooting people still. Um, okay, there's nothing down there. Then we have to go back here. I would check my map just to make things a lot more easier, but it doesn't really provide much help. Wait a minute, where do I go again? Let me think really quick. Oh, wait a minute, I know where to go. You said we have to go back to the medical labs, which is right through this door. Yay, we can go through here now. Are there any guards? No. Intruder alert! Oh, these guys you have to kill. Because if you don't, like I said, they'll sound the alarm. There we go. What the hell? I shot him in the head. Shot him in the ass. I seem to put him down. I wonder, can we shoot these glass vials? I know one of them can explode. There's a chance, but we can't go up to him yet. We have to go kill the scientist right on the other side of that room. Not with a gun, though. Just with the press of a button. Gabe! Thank God. They were shooting me up with some kind of drug. What the hell kind of place is this, Gabe? There's no time. I have a chopper outside a half mile away. Here are its coordinates. Take this and get to the security room and free Ramirez. Get up to the street any way you can and wait for me at the chopper. Thanks, Logan. You saved my ass again. Just move. I have good faith and chance, he won't get caught. Just give him a gun and tell him to shoot the nearest vent and he'll be home free. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the level now. You can see signs of the virus at work on the internal organs by looking for discoloration and swelling. This particular strain of the virus was programmed to affect only liver cells. Because the test subject was a heavy alcoholic, we wanted to see how the virus would react to liver cells differentiated by years of abuse. 
Look here. You can see that the virus cells have adapted nicely to the unforeseen cell structures, and have performed their task adequately. How does the virus know which chromosome have been changed if its pre-programmed genetic structure have been altered? Come back with me to the viral lab, and I'll show you the matrix we use. That's not right. They're experimenting on living people. You deserve to die. Teresa, they're experimenting on living human beings. Yeah. You're not gonna believe what's in these data files. You're wrong. I'll believe anything at this point. Using them like guinea pigs for the little science project. that vent. If you try to go through that door, then Teresa will say, try the vent. The virus started, of course, as a potent bioweapon. But as you can see, we have progressed far beyond that. Think of it as a supercomputer, a nanomachine that can be programmed on a genetic level. Incredible. This is just the beginning. The siphon filter virus is the next millennium. With the virus as a delivery system, no cell is immune. Cancer cells will become a thing of the past. Here, look at these slides while I go get the matrix data. I'll be right back. My computer is way bigger than these two. Anyway, let me see if I can shoot the chemicals on the desk. No, I can't. I can shoot that one. Wow, it's made of nothing. I thought you can shoot it, like in the first game, because in the first game you shoot one of those chemicals that explodes into gas, but in this game it doesn't do anything. Dr. Weisinger, how good to see you again. You don't need a gun. I'm not very dangerous. Not unless you've got a needle full of poison. I want the vaccine for Leon Zing. Now! How did you get past lab security? Never mind, of course you got by security. Steven set it up after all. Just give me the vaccine. Here, take it. It's too late, you know. The virus will already have begun to- Gabe just got owned by a woman with nice legs. That mission didn't really take too long, but at the same time, it gets quite annoying if you get caught constantly. Anyway, next uh, video, things get crazy. See you then.